y'all, I'm Betsy from Happily Ever After, etc. And welcome back to another garden project. So I'm super excited because today, after months and months and months of talking about it, we're going to start putting together the raised beds for in front of the shed. Ever since we put the shed in, that's going to be my workshop. I knew I needed to do something with this space. Y'all helped me plan everything out if you can remember back to last summer. But the best laid plans often take a minute because not rich, it takes a minute to do things. And so <laughs> um, I was lucky enough to receive four of the raised beds that I wanted. I need 12 for my total design, but I received four for Christmas from my loving family. I'm very excited. So my little brother is actually on his way over and he's going to help me put them together so we can see what they look like in the space and so that we can start prepping the area for what I'm going to do with them. It may take a while before I get all 12. I don't even know that I'll get all 12 this year. My goal is that I'm going to at least get eight so that I can do two, two and two, two. I want to have two L shapes in front of the shed here for vegetables, fruits, and cut flowers. So ideally I would like to have 12, but if I can at least get the four corner pieces in place and then the two next to those, that would be a great start. <laughs> and then I will add the others as I can. So today we're going to get started. They come in packs of two. So I will show you, but the, the raised beds I picked partially because I wanted white vinyl for in front of the shed and partially because I wanted to be able to configure them in whichever shapes I wanted. And the way these work is there's kind of slots on the corner post that you can then lay the pieces in in any configuration. So you can do one, you can do two, you can do four, you can do three, you can do 12, all in one big box, but it's a grid system. Um, and I just liked how versatile it was, especially because eventually I will probably move from this house. Um, well, the house will come with me. That's the best part about a manufactured house. I'm planning to buy land eventually and move everything to that land in the next two, three years. So everything that I do here needs to be mobile. I don't want to put anything in that I can't take with me, barring a few things like sometimes you just can't help it. But, you know, I mean, we moved once a year growing up. I'm a military brat, army brat. So I firmly was taught that you make the best of the home you're in and you live where you live. And then when you move, you move. So that's the goal is we are going to put these things in, in a way that they can be taken with us later. But in the meantime, I'm very excited. My brother does not love to be on film, so we will see how it goes. Um, he, he usually is okay with it, but I may have to come out when I do the next two and give you a much more in detailed explanation. So we're going to get started. Um, and then I, I'm just really excited. Dirt. Biddy's excited too, because there's lots of dirt teeth. All right, let's go get started. I have to meet my brother at my mom's house because we had Christmas at my mom's. And so my raised beds are still at her house. So I'm going to go meet him. We're going to get the raised beds and then we'll bring them back over here. Somehow, whenever I get presents, I have to put them together. My brother and I bought my mom a garden bench for Christmas that she really wanted. And we had to assemble it on Christmas, like before Christmas dinner. My brother and I had to put it together and go out and put it in her garden. And then she's like, well, you can put your raised beds together whenever you want. And I'm like, that is not the deal. So I talked my brother into coming to help at least. My mom would help, but she's really busy with work this time of year. Biddy's gonna help, aren't you, Biddy? Yeah. Let's go to Grandma's. You wanna go to Grandma's? Come on.
Okay, so you can see we've started to set it up. Now, this is obviously not how we're gonna have it, but I want to have an L here, an L there, L here, and then an L in this corner, so it'll be four Ls. So essentially, we're setting up two rectangles in front of the shed today. That's all I have the boxes for. Um, but we wanted to place the corner here so that we knew exactly how far down to make those boxes. So essentially, this will be here. And then this is for measuring purposes. The, this will be my path. So I wanted my path to be the same width. And that's four feet. And I can put my wheelbarrow through here. So that's the goal is to be able to get my wheelbarrow all the way in when I'm harvesting things or cutting flowers or I need to get pumpkins. I'm going to grow pumpkins in one of these. So essentially the directions are very simple. You're going to set up your four corners, slide your slats down. Now you can see that there are little edges here and each of the slats has a notch that fits in that edge. So you're going to put your four down and then they give you some glue and we're supposed to run a bead of glue across all the middles, put our second slat on and then the top and the glue is supposed to seal the two side slats together so that water can't leak out the side. So we're going to keep doing that, but I wanted to show you kind of how they work. You can see each box has enough slats for four sides, eight sides, your end posts, the tops of your end posts, your glue, and the um, grid system for the top when you want to plant things like vegetables or fruits in a grid pattern. It has a grid that you can put on top. Plus, it makes your whole system stronger. So I am probably going to use that. No reason not to. But this is, I mean, this is not a sponsored post. Like I said, these were Christmas presents. And then I'll be buying the rest. So let's go ahead and keep working on it. All right, y'all, so here is the glue, and it is, I'm not sure, some kind of epoxy glue, super glue. It's pretty, pretty gluey. So you wanna put it's almost a whole tube on one side, and I found that you don't wanna put your fingers in it, but once you squeeze out a tube, I use the end or the back here to go through and spread it. put your next side on and push down firmly for 15 20 ish seconds maybe a little less so that they glue together and it the glue sets up pretty fast then you move on to the next side dun, 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 dun. it's going to look so good once I have the four L's out here, but here's the inside. So they come with these grids. So if you're doing the one plant for square foot uh, method, when you're planting like your fruits and vegetables, you can plant them in these grids. Ideally, you're going to fill your beds up and then put the grids on top. But for now, we just set them inside. They do help sturdy everything up. But like after six months of just a cardboard field, I can at least see the beginning of the vision. Hopefully next month I will have all of them, if not half more of them, at least four more. I'm going to buy at least two more sets of these. I just don't know if I can get the L's just yet, but they're actually very sturdy. I am I am impressed with the quality for the price because I did not want to pick the, uh, the most expensive version. And they're gonna look so good against my white and blue shed. It was so hot today. I don't know if you noticed, I started out in a sweatshirt and fuzzy boots, and now I'm in a short sleeve t-shirt and my tennis shoes. So go figure, it was literally freezing pipes two days ago and today it was 72. So 
I love these. I will do another video when I put the others together so you can see the finished look. And I will do videos all throughout the season of planting in them and filling them up. I'm going to be planting them or filling them with a mixture of sticks and leaf mulch and all kinds of stuff and not just dirt and compost. So if you want to check that out, make sure you are subscribed. If not, you might catch me anyways. I will see y'all in the next video. I'm going to go take a shower. Bye.